Hey guys, today I got a quick tutorial for you on how to set up one of these here uh, piping bags. This is disposable and uh, this is used for decorating cakes and cookies and cupcakes and anything else you can think of. And so I'm going to go over, you know, the different tips that you can use, the couplings, even how I got a couple ways for you on how to uh, fill the bag. And then even at the end, I'll show you how to get the coupling out of the bag, which is a little bit cumbersome. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm going to show you how to do it right after this. First, we're going to talk about our piping bags. You can pick these and your tips and couplers up at a, you know, your local craft store. That's what I do. They have a great selection. So that's where you find them. Um, and I'm using, this here is a 16 inch bag and it works great if you're just going to use one color. You just, you know, you have a cake, let's say, or cupcakes and you just want to fill your frosting and frost them. This is the size you want to use, I think. Um, they do have other sizes. Let's say you're going to use a lot of colors and you just want a little bit of each one. You wouldn't want to spend money on buying a big bag, so just get the little ones. The next part of this are couplers and our tips. And that's what I have right here. And I have two sizes, so one for a big tip, like this one here, and the smaller one holds the smaller tips. And they go inside the bag. But the coupler is what holds that tip and the bag all together so that the frosting, you know, doesn't go places where you don't want it to go. So how this works is you take your bag, the big piece of the coupler, I'm going to show the big one, will go in the bag. We're going to cut the tip off and the end here will stick out. Then you can take your tip and place it on top and then the other part of the coupler will just screw right in and hold it really nicely in place. The beautiful thing about couplers is if you want to change tips, all you do is take that off and change your tip. And you're good to go. So let's go ahead and install our first coupler here. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to place it inside the bag like we talked about. And you want to push it all the way down so that it's really stuck in the end there. You see the threads here. So I'm just going to take a sharpie and I'm just going to mark the first thread. Now you want to take the coupler back out of the bag. And then you're going to cut on the line. So we're just going to cut that right off. Slide the coupler back in to the bag, and you can see that it comes right out of the end there. Now I'll put the tip on that I'm going to use, and the last part of the coupling which will secure it. Screw that down until it's nice and tight. Now we're ready to fill our bag. So I'm going to show you two ways to do it. You take your bag, remember it's all set up here with our coupling and our tip. And the tips, by the way, are numbered. So this one here is um, one of my favorites. I like to use it a lot. It's a 1G. So you could go to Wilton and find a 1G and you'd have the same exact uh, tip that I have. All right, so I'm folding the bag down, several inches down like this, okay? And then you can put your hand in it like a C and you can hold it like that and you can add your frosting. Okay, and that's, that's pretty easy, but I tend to like to do it this way. I like to put it in a glass so that my other hand is free. I just prefer it that way, but you can do either way you want. So I have some frosting here that I've already made, and it is a Swiss uh, meringue buttercream frosting. And I love it because it's light creamy and airy and just beautiful. It's not too sweet like a, a traditional buttercream. That'll be coming soon. Actually, it's not out yet, but it will be soon. I'll leave a link for you in the description when it becomes available. And you don't want to overfill your bag. Don't fill it more than, say, halfway full. Okay, pull the bag straight, straight up. And you're going to want to push all of the frosting towards, you know, the, the tip, right? So you get all the air out of it. And then you just grab it at the top, and you're going to twist it. And that's going to secure it and keep the, the frosting from backing out. And now you're ready to just start piping. So the last thing I'm going to show you is, let's say you're done frosting and you want to, you know, empty out your, your bag, you can go ahead and save your frosting. So I'm just going to squeeze it back into my bowl here. And like I said before, you're going to, you know, work from the top down. So just push it out. Now, once you get it pretty much emptied out, 
cut close to the coupling. So I'm going to cut right here. I'm going to take off the coupling that we screwed onto it. All right, you can take the tip off if you like. And then I'm going to make a slit into it like that. So then I can grab it and I can just pull it off. It's a little messy, but it comes off easy that way. And that's it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. I hope it helps you out. If it did, please share it and subscribe. I've got a lot of recipes for you to check out. So thanks again. We'll see you next time.